What's up guys, Mike here from The Escape Room Guys. I'm here in Chicago, Illinois at Panic Escape Room where I'm here with Drew, um, who is uh, going to tell us a little bit about the location here and the rooms that you have. So how long have you guys been open? We've been open for about three years now. Um, uh, our uh, company, Panic Room, uh, started, I wanna say around five or six, but we've had this location in Chicago for three years. Okay, great. Uh, so you have a number of rooms here. Do you want to tell us uh, a little bit about each of the rooms? Sure. Um, so I'll kind of start on the easy end and work our way to our most difficult room. Um, so Infection is designed for uh, mostly like first time escape room players. It's more of a linear game. Um, each of our rooms features different types of puzzles. Um, Infection uh, has a lot of like science and logic based uh, type puzzles, um, which are kind of easier for first timers to kind of get on board mm -hmm. and get through the game. Um, and then Prison uh, would be the, the next in difficulty. Um, prison, um, you get split between two cells, and this one focuses more about communication and teamwork, and there's a couple more like hands-on dexterity type of puzzles, so pseudo lock picking and that kind of thing. Um, so that's our kind of like medium difficulty room. And then Mob, which you just played, which just did. Um, is kind of starting into our more difficult expert rooms. Um, this is kind of like a Prohibition era, Chicago mafia themed escape uh, in which you're infiltrating a rival mob gang space and trying to make it out with your stash of cash before they get back. Um, and then our most difficult room uh, is Voodoo, which we actually built about uh, four months ago. Um, it used to be our storage room and we kind of moved all our storage into the office and turned that into our now super expert room. Nice. Um, and uh, yeah, cool. those are our four games. Nice. So uh, tell us a little bit about the, how you guys come up with the themes for your rooms. Um, so um, I'm do a little bit of design here. The, the master mind behind a lot of the games, though, is Patrick. Um, and he's out in Hungary. Um, um, so he, he and I uh, kind of get a lot of inspiration from different movies and video games and that kind of thing. Um, obviously, like we're huge escape room fanatics, so we play a lot of escape rooms and kind of get some ideas uh, from that as well. Um, so, yeah. so, so something a little different, uh, because I, I'm from DC and I've done your rooms over there too. Uh, none of the themes between the one in DC and the one here in Chicago are the same. Um, so is that similar to other panic locations across the US? Yeah, um, so like we have a prison game here. Um, I know some of our other locations have like a jailbreak or they'll have like a different name where it's kind of a similar theme, but a lot of the puzzles are different. So um, try and keep things as fresh as we can from each unit. So you can do them from location to location and not have to worry about doing the same room twice. Right, cool. exactly. Um, so tell us uh, the craziest or funniest thing you've ever seen a group do in one of your, or the stupidest things um, in one of your rooms? I see a lot. Um, I'd say most recently, because um, we're open pretty late here, we're open until um, like 1 a.m. Uh, so sometimes we get a peep, you know, some, some groups that have been drinking a little bit before they come play, and uh, this past week I had a lady who threw up in prison. Oh. Uh, so that was, that was kind of interesting to... <laughs> To, to witness, yeah, so. I would have made her clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> or staying locked in the cell until you clean this up. Um, so sometimes we offer discounts on the website, or do you have any promotions running that you want to tell people about? Yeah, so like Monday through Thursday, um, if you go to our website, panicescaperoom.com, um, different weeks will have like a different code that's available there um, that can get you, I believe, it's either your 15 or like 25% off, I want to say, uh, during weekdays. Um, and I think you had like a, a promo code. Yeah, I think um, uh, I will be getting a promo code from uh, the manager here, so we'll post that on the website when we post the review. Uh, but then you also have the promotion where if you just done a room, you can t do another room 30% off. Right, so we like to reward our um, players who have been here before. Um, so we usually have like an insider code if uh, you've played that we'll share with you. Nice. Uh, anything else you want to tell us about the location? Um, yeah, so we're getting ready to open up a second location in Chicago. It's going to be in Logan Square. Um, we're going to start off with um, three games as well as like a escape cube, like a smaller, uh, we're thinking more of like kind of a couple's escape. So we'll have like three and a half games.
themes there. Um, the themes are going to be dungeon, um, which is kind of like a like a torture or like medieval so dungeon really, escape. Okay. Um, and then there's going to be spy, but it's going to be kind of like Austin Powers, like 70s, 80s kind of themed. Um, and then uh, the third room is wizard. It's going to be kind of like Merlin, mystical uh, escape. Nice. So we're really excited about that. Very cool. Uh, so thanks, Drew, for having us out here. Um, yeah. This has been another interview with the Escape Room guys. We'll post this soon and uh, check out the review in a couple weeks. See ya.